This is weird in the big studio. It's very weird in it's the big ve- studio. And also, people can, like, watch. And it's like, we're not really doing anything in here. No, we're <laughs> literally not even close. Like, this is so far away. Yeah. It's all, it's all good. Let's, let's get it going, guys. How's everyone doing? Everyone's great, What's man. What's going on with you? Not much. Sup, episode number 87. 87, baby. Gronkowski. Robbie G. Robbie G, That's baby. That's your guy. That's my motherfucking guy. I know that. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Gronk. Yeah. I, they're trying to get him to come back. Yeah, they are. Really? Yeah, they're going like, hey, buddy, how about you uh, come on back? <laughs> <laughs> he's pushing how about that, you? Uh, pushing that CBD oil. I mean, yeah. he's pushing CBD and all so that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He come said on. CBD like cured his head shit. It, it didn't. <laughs> Absolutely. 100% did not. It did not. So I'm sure, I'm sure the NFL is going to rigorously drug test him if he comes back. But then he's. I don't think he's going to come back. Yeah, I don't think so either. No, nah, because that's not. It's not Gronk. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. Ah, right, we got a good episode today. I'm one of your hosts, Lawrence Deloach. That's right. Sub podcast, Lawrence, Luke, yep. and Chris. We're all here, baby. All That's three of us. We got a lot to get into, man. Yeah, where do you want to start? Anything specific? Uh, yeah, man. Let's start out with uh, Dior and Air Jordan. The Dior-den? The dior I said yeah. the Jordior. The Jordior. Uh, this is just Jordan Brand and Nike saying, we know what we're doing. In You'll pay for anything. 2020, 2000. 2022,000. We know what we're what we gonna we're gonna sell a pair of sneakers for two thousand yep. dollars. You're gonna purchase them if you even can get your hands on a pair. Yep. Um, it's gonna be insane. Okay. Well, we just we just had this happen with Supreme though. Supreme and Louis Vuitton. Yeah, this was a little no, different Supreme though. And, no, Supreme. Uh, Supreme and, and Nike. Uh, and Nike with Wait, the He's saying the five hundred. Yeah, no, but is, this is completely. This, this is, is completely, pretty. Yeah, this is Dior. I am just trying to tie into our previous episode, <laughs> which you can listen to on iTunes or anywhere. You see. All right, ready? Let's do this. Yeah. Lawrence, say licensing. Go. Licensing. <laughs> sing. Licensing. Licensing. Okay, that's the last episode, man. Lic- yeah, 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 yeah. That's all last sing. episode, man. Yeah, that's all last episode. <laughs> so. Yeah, it goes back to I mean you can uh, check that out on uh, all. Well, all right, platforms. here's here's the main thing. Which collab yeah. do you think is going to be better, the Prada Adidas or the Nike Dior? Pradidas, Jordi. I think Prada and Adidas will be more available than a pair of Dior. That's Jordi. true. That is not. I under, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, that's not answering the question. Which one do you think will be better? Yeah, uh, I have my take. Well, I mean, I'm as a. I mean, I think the. The Prada, the Prada Adidas is basically, from what I've heard, it's supposed to be like a shell toe or, you know, like an Adidas classic model with Prada yeah. uh, premium materials. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, once again, it's the same thing with the Jordan 1 with pr- uh, premium materials. But as a Jordan 1 person, I think I would, I mean, I, I, we got to see what both look like. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, I don't like put Dior with premium material. Like with uh, Prada, I do. But when I when I think of Dior, I don't think like high quality material. I think of like weird shit. Yeah. I think of like the their typeface doesn't make sense because it's like the D is up and then like they. I think perfumes, man. Do you really? I think perfumes. I do think of a scent. I don't know what yeah. scent it is, but I do think of a scent when I think of Dior. So we're talking Dior bags that go for three grand, and it's not premium. I don't even think of bags. Well, that's no. what I mean. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I think of. Yeah. You're thinking no, he's thinking of the bags, like that material in the bags is Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. That well, would I'm make just, sense. I'm just yeah. saying, yeah, that's that's the type of That's brand. the approach they're taking. <laughs> I just think of that clear shit. Because they have those like chuck looking things that have the clearish yeah. whatever that is, mm-hmm. like poly. That's what I think. And if they made a Jordan in that, it's like whatever. But Prada. Yeah. Wait, they, the rumor is it's gonna be a shell toe? Well, uh a cl- Adidas classic model. Mm-hmm. So yeah, what are we talking about? Stan Smith, yeah, Shelto, like or Forum, or yeah, something in that realm. Yeah, but I mean, you know, you also have to realize that Jordan Brand has done something like this in terms of working with Don C, and he created a a pair of sneakers uh, with the inspiration of a a Chanel bag, right? And they were able to move those. Granted, for three hundred and fifty dollars for the first one, and then. Six hundred and fifty dollars, even though it came with accessories. Yeah. Um. So now Jordan's like, well, if we can have an inspiration of, I guess, a Chanel bag, why not work with Dior? And um. And if it's a thousand pairs, I mean, you got to realize how many people are genuinely going to get a pair. And at two thousand dollars, yeah. if that's the you know the the rumor. 
Mm. That's so much yeah. money retail for a sneaker. It's not even. This bubble is going to pop soon. There's no way it can't pop soon. They ha- we have auctions on StockX that are yeah. letting people uh, determine their own price of the shoes, yeah. which is already too high. Right. Then there now it's like you want to pay two thousand dollars for a shoe. Also, how is it in the same year, Jordan? And a luxury company, and then Adidas and a luxury company link up like that. Like, they, yeah. th- how did like <laughs> they have a meeting? Like, all right, this is the year where we really, yeah, we we'll all get together an expensive shoe year. Absolutely. Well, all of them are firing their CEOs around the same time. It's getting eerie, dude. Yeah, it doesn't. Well, this is this reminds me of the Chanel, uh, uh, and Pharrell, yeah, and MDs. Sure. That uh, you had a high pr- price point of mm-hmm. over a thousand dollars. Yeah. And you know, and and people are paying over ten grand for a shoe. It's nuts. You know, it, it, there are certain you know there are certain sneakers that you know even you look at something something as similar as like I, I always bring this up like I, I'm astounded, but like a Louis Vuitton Jasper, like you're right. talking a thousand dollar shoe that you know dead stock people are selling for eight nine grand. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I, I you know once again that's a ten year that's over the course of ten years. Yeah. But there's if you the Chanel Pharrell uh, collab came out what like a year ago year year or two ago mm-hmm. it wasn't long yeah when when not that long ago it wasn't that long ago and and now you know on the secondary market those are being resold for you know nine ten grand so I can see a, a Chanel not a Chanel I'm sorry a Dior and a Jordan yeah. if it's that limited and the price point is already that high. I mean, yeah, I could see it going for an insane amount of money. I mean, you know, what it comes down to is gotta, we got to know what it looks like, you know? Yeah. We got to know what it looks like. If I sp- I can't get the image of like that semi-clear whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, I guess we really do have to see, it. Have I to see it. I hope. I think Adidas is going to knock this one out of the park. I think they're going to do a shell toe. I, I think that I'm not even worried about I don't think they're really going to focus on the shoes, honestly. Mm-hmm. I think they'll focus on more of the clothing. Uh... Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess we'll just have to see. I mean, speculating's fun though. Yeah. Well, I just I think it would it would be more likely like it would be more likely for them to to win that game over any other game. Yeah. If you like, you're not gonna beat a Jordan one. You know. It'd be t- well. The only thing that could beat well, all right, the Adidas could win this battle. Yeah. I, I like how this is a war now. <laughs> it is. It, what it is? It's a it luxury is. war. It's, the, it's a it's a business war. They're trying to get the attention of the consumer. Yeah, you know, and then will Dior teaming like Jordan team up with Dior right after the announcement of the Prada Adidas is their move to be like we're gonna go into the designer. All right, wait here, market here, here. too. What? Let's try to gauge the hype. Okay. So Nike is typically above Adidas in most people's lists, right? Where do you have Dior versus Prada? Prada is probably higher. Pra- Prada is higher. Yeah, Prada. Yeah, Prada is. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, once again, I mean, Dior has some wonderful sneakers. I mean, and a lot of people are enjoying the B twenty three, the, yeah. the high top, the the joints you were talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I oh, mean, that's the name of them, the B twenty three, B twenty three high top. Yep. Oh, mm. now twenty three, interesting choice of number there. Oh, what's up? What's up with that, Lawrence? Mm. I don't know. And I'm like accusing number. you, <laughs> 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 Lawrence. Why don't you explain Dior here? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. no, that's kind of funny. So I guess that kind of made sense if they're already aligning themselves with like Nike numbers and shit. Yeah, yeah they're not aligning themselves. That's just well, the, no. The, if you pick twenty three, you pick twenty three for a reason. That's not for. That's not like the twenty third try. No, I mean it could be anything. I mean, who knows what it, it, it could be? Anything, bro. No, man, it's a it's a move. That's their. I mean, that's <laughs> it's a move. That's it's their a model. Power move. B twenty three. The B twenty three. B twenty threes. Nike is also going along with this whole like changing up the whole game. Is they're going to stop selling through Amazon? Did you hear about that? I did hear about that. That's crazy. Yes, bro. That's that's in like that's a lot. Have you guys ever purchased uh, Nikes through Amazon? No, I've I've used Amazon. It's a great service. Oh yeah, I, I mean, mean it's all used Amazon. ruining America and the world at large. Yes. But uh, running shoes I've bought before. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, no, not running shoes. Uh, the Land Sharks, the Nikes, the cleats. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I bought a pair of them. Yeah, came through pretty normal. You know, super fast. Pretty great. Oh yeah, nothing ever wrong with Amazon it. is Amazon. I think they'll be back though. I th- they're really trying to focus on like we're they're going to be direct to consumer and only us direct to consumer. Yeah. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. they'll be back. Amazon is too big if you ask me for people to avoid that kind of service. Mm-hmm. I don't know because mm-hmm. I think what Nike will provide Nike will have to provide something that Amazon would not be able to provide. And what they can't provide is the limited edition sneakers. I think they re-release some of those at periodically to get people on the website. Like give me an example of a model. SB Dunks, man. 
You don't see dunks at, at all anymore. You, you see them. You just want a legit pair of Krugers. That's what it is, isn't it? No, I don't want a pair of Krugers. I want a <laughs> pair of baby bears. Get this right, <laughs> um, dude. I'm saying, I like. Yes, as yes, of course. I'm I'm doing all this posturing, whatever. But I'm talking about <laughs> it, like you know Jordan ones again, like getting Jordan one highs in there again. Just like general release, but Jordan ones. Yeah, but like more of those, more like foam pot, like. More things of like obviously available. Have you been on the Nike website? Yeah, it's sloppy. Yeah, it's sloppy as shit. You, you want more 2005? You think more more of 05 is coming back for him? That's what you're predicting. No, but I think that's maybe. Yeah, maybe if that's okay. that's the only way they're gonna beat out Amazon. Like they'd be. That's crazy to leave Amazon, right? I think so. That's crazy. They're they're so big though. They have to come back. El, you have anything on that? Or you just not give a fuck. You can um, give a fuck I've never fine. I've never bought a pair. <clears throat> Or bought a pair of sneakers on Amazon. <laughs> All right, what was that? Uh, that's the the disgust in my mouth leaving uh, with people like Amazon. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no, I, I, you know, for those people who purchase uh, sneakers from Amazon, that's that's dope. If you you know, but it's it's uh, interesting what Nike's gonna do with the stock and what they what they're trying to do. That's true. You know, where are they gonna? So now, where are these shoes gonna go? Are they gonna go to yeah. more uh, physical locations? Or are they gonna just continue? You to, know, they're not going physical. They're not going physical. They want to keep no everything way. on sneakers, and that's it. They, exactly. Well, they want they want to improve sneakers, man. Well, what I mean, what is what is Amazon selling that's so? You know, what are they selling? The they basic? have the same base models that every other store does. There you go. You know, you know. So you got your your base sneakers. So it's not right. like. It's not like so Nike. What now? They're gonna put them in the Dick's Sporting Goods, or they're gonna no, they're taking they, them out. They're, they're gonna take them out and, and put them back on their website. They're gonna take away. They're taking yeah, away everything from everybody. I'm guessing well, soon they'll, they'll probably keep the B grades and stuff like Marshalls sure. or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like the whatever, like a, what, like Zooms or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's like the top selling shitty whatever? Like, Didn't, yeah. Well, this is what Trey talked about. Yeah, it is the void that's happening. Yeah. So also go to Patreon. Yeah. And check out that episode with uh, Trey Hill from A Life New York because he does he's predicting all of this. He did. You know? Yeah. He, he made a good he's case. Pretty for all calling this. like he called a lot of this that we're talking about now. Yeah. 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 It would be good. Good to listen to that. Also, wait while we're trying to do semi plugs. So the Discord, we're gonna listen yeah. to you guys uh-huh. and tell you what we're wearing. Yeah. We've read your comments. Yes. And we will tell you what we're wearing, especially because uh-huh. today we don't have video. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Lawrence. Tell the people what you're wearing. Uh, John Elliott hoodie, John Elliott jeans, uh, <laughs> Brad if uh, Air Jordan one. Literally the same outfit he's worn every single day for his entire life. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I'm fucking Louis C.K. with his outfits or Steve Jobs. I wear the same shirt, but I got a lot of different shirts. Yeah, <laughs> Luke, what are you wearing? Same shit I wear every day too. <laughs> this is why we stopped doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah. wear the same things every day. I'm go. trying to, I'm trying to branch out more now. What for sure. Now that it's winter, I can start flexing a little bit more. So you have how so many I've, layers on? I have four. I have four layers. Oh yeah, this will be fun. Uh, <laughs> APC hoodie. Underneath uh-huh. that, I have a George Bean <laughs> a crew neck sweater. Like a garbage. Yeah, I got this thrifting for five bucks. It's, uh, you're doing great, buddy. Uh, <laughs> uh, waffle knit thermal from work. That's it's got my work logo on it, and then uh, a regular thermal underneath that. My I man am is cold. Toasty in here, <laughs> and then for jeans, I'm wearing the APCs with a pair of long johns underneath. Cozy shoes, fear God rates. Nice. I am wearing an A Life hoodie, Levi pants. Yeah. Um, are these the home or aways? Home. I got the home shack attacks on. Yeah. And then there you go, guys. There you have it. We should it. just do shoes next Are time. Are you happy? We'll just do shoes next time. Because I'm always going to wear A-Life hoodie. He's always wearing John Elliott. And you're I'm always, always wearing, wearing APC. APC. Yeah. That's kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, there you have it. There did you, you guys Discord. Did you, Lawrence, you got to talk me out of uh, going to Paris to go see this APC cafe, man. Nah, fuck that. Go. <laughs> <laughs> you can yeah. afford it, Luke, <laughs> Luke, how are you going to pay for this? I live a fast and loose life. <laughs> <laughs> going to Paris. Nice. Going to Paris. Do you remember the um the punk with yeah. Kanye? And no, he, he kept saying Paris is Perry. Lawrence, well, tell me you remember that. Nah, no, I've never seen Just that. Stop that, yo! That was I one of the funniest wish things. I could pull it up. All right, so everybody, pause real quick. Yeah, go YouTube this because he gets punked real bad. Really? Yeah, that was an amazing punk episode. But he kept mispronouncing all of the words. Yeah. Where he's like, I need to go to Paris tomorrow. And we're like, what, what are you talking about, dude? Yeah. It was such a fucking good episode. Speaking of Kanye, are we fans of the high top uh, 500s? No. The blue ones, they look like uh, Air Jordan 11s. They kind of stink. Let me see. 
I've not seen these. Well, yet. you looked those up. Yeah. Um, we got the Bread 11s for Christmas. That was confirmed. I think, what, the 12th or 13th or something they're coming out? Yeah, I mean, no. I mean, if you want a pair, you'll get a pair. Yeah. It's, you know, I'm all for Jordan 11s, but if you want a pair, you'll get a pair. I have a feeling you're going to get a pair. No, I, don't, I really don't. I, I can't tell you the last time. I bought a pair of Concords. Yeah. And then, um, and then I just, like, it was like, Lawrence, just, you don't wear Jordan 11s anymore. I just don't. So I sold them. I got rid of them. Mm. But I don't wear Jordan 11s anymore. I can't tell you the last time I like actively went out and purchased a Jordan 11. Probably Concord. Well, besides the Concord, which oh. I had to sell it. Like, yeah. I, I'm talking about in terms of wearing a Jordan oh, 11. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't do it anymore. Like, I've had a bunch of them. Like, I've had Gammas. I've had, you know, the... Oh, I like these. The white and blue, the white ones. You're talking about the 500, you like them? I like the highs, yeah. I like the, I like the slate ones. I don't like the highs at all. I like yeah. the slates a lot. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Chris from Brooklyn in the building. In the now building. Slipping out. So um <laughs> yeah, I just don't like I don't like um Jordan 11s. But I mean, I, if you want them, get them. Where are you in the roster of early Jordans that you're over? So early. like you're you're done with 11s. What else are you done with? I'm done with 11s, I'm done with 12s. I'm done with 10s. Um just single digits for Lawrence. It's pretty much single digits, like ones, twos, threes, fours. Uh, I'm I can fuck with five sixes, uh, certain certain sixes, sevens. I like eights. I like nines. I only like the uh, olive joints. Yeah, and then after that, the eight, yeah, I have the olive eights. Those are great. Olive nines. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, olive nines are amazing. I, I have a pair. Of wolf grays. Nines. Wolf grays are good too. I'm getting nines out of here. I fucking cool hate grays. nines. You I don't, don't really, like nines? I don't care for nines, but I like the olive, which I'm actually gonna break out soon. I got to You should. But they're cut. Good so t- the ones, the last ones that came out. Yeah. Uh, I think they came out like 2012 ish. Mm-hmm. They're cut very small. And they yeah. cut like a half size small. Yep. So every time I was wearing them, they were hurting my feet. But I'm like, fuck that. Mm. Wear, wear your olive nines because they're like <laughs> seven years old. Fuck that. Wear them shits, L. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a wear them soon. <laughs> wear them tomorrow. I just, need, I just need no. I just need thin insoles. I gotta before I wear them again. I need to buy some thin insoles. What do you buy for insoles if you have to buy them? <laughs> Doctor Scholes. Scholes yeah. That's the one. Probably. I get Scholes. Damn. How's there no hype insole? Sub podcast hype ins- insoles boom merch uh, done for the week. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Luke's uh, merch ideas like he thinks there's no required work at all. Oh no, absolutely. <laughs> You're like, yeah, of course we can just have like an automated wheel. No, that's yeah. Well, no, I know that's that's a one of one item. That's a one of one item. <laughs> like, you're not even. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll just get one. Like that's not a big deal. We'll get one. Yeah, we'll get one. It won't work. <laughs> what is the, oh, you just want a clay model? Yeah, it's a, it's a okay. <laughs> it'll well, you want it to work? Yes. All right, I'll I'll get it to work. You're gonna get it to work now. Yeah. Okay. All right. You're gonna call it cousins. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> I got a cousin out in Rockaway who knows the guy. Damn, you know there's the guy? there yeah. should be a hype insole. There should be. That's a great point. There's a big market opportunity here. That yeah. now next week there's gonna be a poet. Every week there's yeah. somehow. We talk about one We're, thing I'm bullshitting. I'm telling you, man. And then the next I'm week, there's, the, there's you, the hype thing that- People are listening. No one's listening. <laughs> People, the bots are listening. The bots, yeah. The bots that buy all of the sneakers that we want. They're learning. That would be fucked up if the bots that bought sneakers could like listen to shit. If, they had, if it was AI like that. And they're listening to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Oof. we really went off there. All right, yeah. I'll bring us back. What do you got? Uh, you know, I was actually about to start booing you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all was going a little too deep with that uh, insult shit. Uh, and uh, speaking of getting booed, uh, Drizzy Drake. Hey. What a segue. What a <laughs> what segue, King. You don't have to say it because, you know, the people already know I'm good at this. <laughs> See? Told you. He gets you every time. <laughs> he d- Lawrence has worked on getting me. Yeah. Pause. For a while now. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So yeah, so Drake got booed at a uh, Tyler the Creator event. Was it Flog Nah? Flog Nah. Yeah, Kent yeah. Flog Nah. And, um, and it was funny the way he got booed, man, because it was like he was like, "Y'all, y'all want to hear no more?" And they was like, "Boo, nigga, get <laughs> off the stage!" And he was like, "I love y'all. My name's Drake. Be good, pace." And he I just walked off. Don't think it was that big of a deal. Getting booed? Nah. I mean, I don't think that it was as bad. I no, think, I saw the video. It's not too bad. Yeah, I think it was bad. like a certain section, and he was like, to me, it seems like 
from what I watched, there was like one section that wanted Frank to be there, and they were like, "Boo, Frank!" And then a bunch of people were like, "Oh, we're just gonna boo Drake? Hell yeah!" I've been be- yeah. I've been booed off of better shows than Drake got booed off of. So I'm like, <laughs> better shows? I've been, well, I mean, it's not can't <laughs> vlog, but I'm just saying, like, I've been booed before. Have you gotten booed? Uh, I mean, yeah, I've been booed. I've been booed. I've, you know, I've, yeah. I have one singular boo. Whereas a guy in the back of a show, I, I was bombing so hard. Yeah. And then like I'm in like the last bit, I have the light. I'm like, oh god, it's almost over. Was but, it that? Was that that show we did together? That that show with all with all at Chinatown. Oh, you mean Sold Out Tuesdays? No, that's the the. End of the <laughs> <laughs> we'll plug our show there. Yeah, yeah, no, this was Freddie's yeah, yeah, uh, Five Soul, whatever. Oh okay. oh, okay. Yeah, shout out to Freddie though. That I just I bombed so bad. You, and I, like in the middle of like my last joke, I'm yeah. setting up. For the punchline, and it like, like, as like one of those tension breaks where there's silence, the guy just goes, Boo! <laughs> Miserable. Mm. Miserable. Yeah. Well, that's when did you get booed? And I haven't done that show since. I mean, I first got, when I first started, yeah. you know, I got booed. You know, it is what it is. I mean, now, motherfucker ain't gonna boo me because I'll slap the shit out of anyone <laughs> yeah. that even thinks about booing me because I don't fuck I don't get booze, I get aws. <laughs> I don't get That's it. very on brand. It's on brand. Just say what you want. Aw. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's big of a deal, though. I do kind of feel that must have been a real humbling experience for him. Because that he's, like, on the top of this game. Yeah. He's, like, the biggest artist. Like, yo, literally, he took an L and a beef, like, and he steamrolled over it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No one gave a shit about how he fucking has a kid. Yeah. Like, he, he went through a lot. Yeah. To still be at the peak of his career. Yeah. And then get booed like that and him just go, like, all right, damn. But if it is going to be anywhere... It's going to be at a Tyler, the creator show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. which Tyler came out and was like, you kind of backed him. Yeah, of course. Oh, no, of course. Because that's like, that's huge for the festival. Well, I they used to beef. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe that's why. I, well, I think, see, the thing is with fan bases, yeah. it's like the artists can make up, mm-hmm. but then the fans don't necessarily have to get on board with it. That's true. So I don't know if it was like more of like, yo, boo, you're not Frank or... Boo, you're Drake, or like I don't know what kind of boo it was. Yeah, but I think some of it was just people trolling. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, we're j- if we're just gonna boo Drake, I'm down to boo Drake. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, I felt know. for Drake. I mean, he's one of the biggest artists in the world, man. He'd be high right, though. He tough. He went home to his man, fucking mansion. He's good. Yeah, Not yeah, no, kid, he was w- in Canada, but I mean, maybe he'll <laughs> fly to Canada in his new. Supreme. Well, did Ramoa? Did you hear? I, uh, <laughs> luggage, yep. Uh, spider, spidery, <laughs> second luggage collaboration. You uh-huh. guys, you guys feeling the Supreme? Collab- Wait, is it? Is it? I thought it was broken glass, or is it spider webs? Nah, motherfucker, it's spiders. Oh, oh, shout out to the spiders out there. Uh, no, I'm not feeling that. You like the first one better? I like the first one better. Mm. I like this one. This one's alright. It is a little more low key. It's very. It could pass through a bunch of. Like, people can look at that and not know it's Supreme. Yeah. yeah. Which, compared to the other one, it's like, remember, we were like, we should just go to JFK and sit at the, mm-hmm. <laughs> sit at the luggage pickup. And see who has them? No, just take them. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 Like, let's yeah, yeah. Just ski mask some fucking <laughs> luggage. Uh, hilarious yeah. and illegal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, we're aware. We're, we know. We are very aware. Oh. I thought it was some sort of voice of reason. No, no, <laughs> no, no. definitely no. not. We all knew. Just, when you got a... a because yeah. you have to assume there's only hype shit in there. Did you guys hear about that Drake thing? Like to go back to that real quick. Did you guys know that he he announced a residency at that club? Uh, at oh that yeah, because he's that, petty. Like, the he's next petty year, as shit for like the next year or something like that. Yeah, he got probably booed. And he called his manager. He was like, "Yo, give me a residency here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll yeah. do it for free. I don't give a fuck." Yeah. Just so I'm I'm sorry not to cut you guys no, off about the Supreme, but I'm still I'm actually on their website. Yeah, and they still have. Supreme Air Max 95. Blo- full sizing? Not full size run, but I mean, pretty good size. They got all the way from Asian sizes oh. to Warren size, which is a 12. So, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, those shits did not do well. No. And that's what I'm saying. What are, what size in the black? Because I feel like the black would probably be the best seller just because it's the most universal. Mm, black, they have a size 9, 10, 11, and 12. Wow. Red, they have an 8, 9, 10, 11, and a half. The blue, they have a 9, 10 and a half, 11, and 12. Interesting. God damn. The blue has the least? Uh, they're all around 4, okay. 4 or 5. Yeah. Interesting. All, all of them have all of them have four pair, uh, four sizes left, I believe. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't wear any of them. The blacks are growing on me. I would wear the blacks. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, no. It's a black sneaker. It's a black yeah. sneaker. 
It's just nice. That's all right. I wouldn't. What, you You want the red? I don't want any of them. Which one would you wear out of three? Which, had, out of you, the three. If you put a gun if in you, my head and yeah. say, you got to wear one? Wear one of these. Probably probably the red. I knew you were blood. Sue. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm not uh, Yeah, I'm not really feeling it, but it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else do we got to talk about, man? There's a lot of different things we can talk about. Levi's and Bape. And Bape. Bape. Do we care about that? I don't know. Like I, I don't care about it. Do you? Yeah, it's exciting. It is. It is exciting. It, but if they figure out, <laughs> did they ever? <laughs> Alex. Oh shit. <laughs> what you want to go hit that real quick? Yeah. Okay. Um, just to cover Luke while we turn off the microphone that's in another room. Uh, <laughs> wait, what's the time on this? It's uh, all. I'll cut this part out. Mm. Wait, what's the yo? Know, just for a timestamp. All right, let's reset that. Three, yeah. two, one, go. <sighs> Levi's and Bite. I'm excited for it. <laughs> <laughs> Bite and Levi's. If they figure out how to put the pattern in denim, yeah, that's exciting. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's a there's a lot of possibilities here for a very good collaboration at a very reasonable price point. There's also a big opportunity for a very bad, bad one, one that no one needs. That no one needs, but. You lose nothing by having this come out, you know? Like, uh, you don't, I, you know? I guess, I mean, if you want to put it that way, I guess. Right? I mean, you could look at any collab like that then. It's true. That's true. Well, that's fair. But I like it. I think I think it'll be uh, an exciting time. Denim. Yeah, denim on the, with the ABC camo. Very nice. Mm-hmm. I like that. I don't know. I want to see I want to see what they do. It'll be cool. Maybe some maybe a baby Milo denim jacket. Uh, it Okay. Yeah. If it's also big patches. Yeah. Yeah. I could do that. A little yeah, yeah, yeah. Canadian tuxedo. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Over my bape Levi's. Yep, yep, yep. You know? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Maybe a bapester with denim. A bapes denim would be nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now you're slowly See? convincing me. See? Okay. See? If they went from Jordan Force to then Bapesters, that would be That'd be interesting. All right. Right? What color? Black denim. No, now I'm out. Now you're out? Now I'm out. All right. How do, <laughs> how do we how do we do that? Lawrence, help, help me out. What up? <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence tried to use like young. Yes? Yeah. What co- what color denim should we use for this babesta? <laughs> for this Levi babesta? Uh I gotta get Chris on board. I'm gonna say raw blue denim. Raw blue denim. We're going with raw blue denim, yeah, Chris. We can dog it. Sure. Sure. Okay. All right. We've kind of got him on board. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, people. Lauren's completely off board. Only came in to get me half on board. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the phone a friend lifeline. Mm-hmm. Every time. Mm-hmm. All right. Take us elsewhere, Lawrence. Take us. Take us to the next land. Uh. <laughs> Drake and Boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Boo Drake. Yeah, Boo. Diamond and Keith Herring. Yes. Oh yeah, this now off mic. Me and Luke were discussing this a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I've said this to you, Lawrence, on this podcast before Luke joined. I'm sick of people trying to use the uh, Keith Herring license. Like I'm over it. Basquiat. Yeah. Uh, Warhol. Uh-huh. Keith Herring. Like, just leave them alone, guys. Mm-hmm. It, it's it it's been beaten to death. What? Who do they use now? Some new obscure artists. Well, w- when we were talking before, right? Um, I was saying it's kind of getting times up on people like Cause because they're getting to the point where it's like when you see something else by them again, you're like, again, like this is what they're. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's n- it's never anything innovative again. Mm-hmm. Right. With, with with the herring and like that type of it's stuff. It's kind of starting to happen with Yeezy, man. Well, I mean, this is a different case with Yeezy. Yeah. Because it's in a, it's a whole different category. It's a whole bunch of different shit. Right. But. With the licenses of old artists, yeah, or even more current mainstream graffiti artists, uh-huh. it's they're not doing anything innovative anymore, at least to me. Mm-hmm. And like, like, leave it alone. Like, how many times are you gonna fucking put like the outline of a herring dude on shit? Right. How many times are you gonna put a banana on shit for Warhol? How many times are you gonna like have the Basquiat type shit? Like, it, it's done. Leave them the fuck alone. Mm-hmm. Especially Diamond. Diamond's like it's a at this point a legacy brand. Yeah, I would say. Ooh. Right. I guess so. Yeah. 
all all that that chain of fucking like uh diamond hundreds yeah <clears throat> 10 deep um am i saying anything n- not true lawrence no you're right that. yeah like they're kind of legacy brands right yeah mm-hmm. absolutely like and then they're already doing the shit that the other legacy brands before them have done it's like wh- like leave them alone mm-hmm. right <clears throat> you'd find- be smarter to find the more popping, yeah. less known graffiti artists, and kind of help put them on because it's a it's a double put on because it's like oh shit you know about yeah X Y Z that's true or that's like no one really fucking utilized Espo who is mm-hmm. it, you know he had the the ones and he's done some other stuff but he hasn't really fucking what been uh, abused what Air Force what are you talking about oh the uh, Air Force ones yeah he also has some uh, if I'm correct Air Force two too yeah probably but I'm saying like with mm-hmm. him he hasn't been abused like the other guys have. Yeah. So, like, there's a good... And Espo it now is becoming a great... Uh, oh, these are nice. What, the Air Force 2s? Yeah, the Air Force 2s are nice. Dude, I remember um, they were... Uh, I remember those. They were part of, like, the celebrity packs and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got the, the dirties, and the first one was, like, June. And then the second one was, like, Espo, Pharrell. A lot of these guys had, like... Uh, yeah. Stash had one. That shit was fire. Shout out to Stash. Stash shit was fire Ooh. back in the days. I like Stash a lot. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, very nice shoe. Mm-hmm. But that's what, there's plenty of opportunities to use other artists. Like, I don't, why, why use the same thing that everyone else has been doing? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nike could be, you know, they could be scaring people away. I don't know. Diamond, yeah. Uh, these big companies could be scaring, pe- scaring people away. What do you mean? Like, in what, in what, in what sense? Like, uh, when you're using all these legacy n- like names and shit. Maybe that's that's probably that could be a thing that's uh, affecting the whole circle. I where it just gets stuck in the loop. It just seems lazy to me. Mm-hmm. It is, it is because you're not putting you're not putting effort into finding new artists. I and guess. I don't want to seem disrespectful for the Tabasquiat Warhol or no, uh, it's just Keith Haring. It's just like there's other people. It's literally gone down to <laughs> Uniqlo. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't think yeah. that, you know <clears throat> Uniqlo, Uniqlo is for the people. <sighs> Uniqlo is interesting because like there's. When you typically get something into Zoomies, say you're a brand, yeah. you get something into Zoomies, that's the beginning of your de- end. Right. Mm-hmm. But you get something into Uniqlo, it's like, oh, that's still cool. It's kind of like a weird resurgence thing. thing. Mm-hmm. But it's like it's it's the it's the lowest common denominator of that fan base kind of thing. You know what I mean? You're saying like Uniqlo is like the Nickelback of stores? No, because I like Uniqlo. <laughs> <laughs> People like Nickelback. Yeah, but I like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Nickelback. <laughs> You'd make Nickelback. Uh, <laughs> I think I would, and that's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't. I other than Espo, I, there's not too many. I mean, there's yeah. just so many other people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When are you uh, gonna make your Sonic shoe? I don't know. I need to. Lawrence, did you see that they redid the Sonic skin? Yeah. He looks no. normal. He looks normal now. Yeah, Finally, after looks, all these people were pissed off. Yeah. yeah now no. he looks like the shit, dude. Good for him, dude. He like before he looked like trash. Now he looks like Sonic. Bro. <laughs> Good for him. Yeah. Yeah. So, our, um, just to give you guys a heads up, Barney's is still uh, playing this game, uh, <laughs> checking with people. Still yeah, 5% so Barney's off. update. I love it. 5% off 5% still. 5% off still. No one's budging. Okay. Also, another update, Popeye's has a chicken sandwich back in stores. Come on, man. You keep ate that one low t- Keep that low-key, man. Keep it low-key? I mean, come, come on, on man. man. Yeah. I mean, I had one. <laughs> Solid. It was better than the first time I had it. I had it in August. Well, yeah, because mm-hmm. it has more steroids now. Yeah, yeah, I just feel like the chicken was wild big, yo. Like, I mean, bro, they, they ran out of chicken and then yeah. somehow got quadruple the amount of chicken in well, like three months. That was a supplier issue. I mean, that's what they quote unquote said. Ooh. Yeah, they went and supplied the chicken more. Uh, I almost said hemorrhoids. Uh, it's steroids. Yeah, Jesus Christ, you fumbled that one. Yeah, I that fumbled. Was, you fumbled it. Yo, but I picked it up, man. You did. It's, it's still our ball. Still our ball. First and goal, baby. Nah, it's first. It's, it's first it's, in like it's 25 it's third, right now. Yeah. First and 25. You lost a lot of yeah, yards yeah. on that fumble. But no. It's a pretty bad fumble. No. But it was forward progress. He caught it, dropped it, and kept going. He dropped, mm-hmm. it, he dropped it backwards. No. No. But you had a good... It was good, though. I mean, the chicken sandwich, like I said, it was good. <laughs> yeah. But I do agree with you. I'm like, that shit was big as... Because when I, when I opened it, I was like, oh, this shit a little too big. Yeah. And it's a little different than the first time. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because the first time, it was like a normal size chicken. This shit was like... Yeah. Like those chicken wings you get from the Chinese restaurant, you like suns up. I have a Popeyes right next to my my job, and I have. Oh not yeah, forty. Yeah, yeah, I went. I went. I went to the one on forty between seventh and eighth in, in yeah. Midtown, Manhattan. And um, yeah, bro, it was, they yeah, had man. they had a sign. It said, "No more chicken sandwich for the Oof. day." So 
Yeah. I got to get in there early. I want to get one. Got to get there at 10 a.m. I really do. Why, you have to be on your phone looking at the Supreme Drops while you get the chicken sandwich. Oh, I mm. can't live that That's life. That's the most hype shit you can do right now. <laughs> be no. in line, refresh, and be like, yo, I need my shit. <laughs> I need my suitcase. Now, I got a question for you guys because yeah. uh, this is, you know, speaking of hype stuff. Uh, Air Force Ones, I feel like they're having a, a little semi-resurgence right now. Yeah, they've been they've been poised for one for a while. Um, we just we just had the clot uh, Air Force Ones, and now there's a uh, clot and fragment are doing uh, an Air Force One. Mm-hmm. It's basically the clot, but now they've added fragment. Okay. Yeah, but they didn't even add the logo or anything. I noticed that. I was looking at it. And they I just was... made it black, right? And they're like, "No, nah, it's fragment." Well, I'm trying to see where. How does he get away with doing so little? He's doing great. Fragment. <laughs> he literally does nothing though. Mm-hmm. He fragment design is like the DJ Khaled for sneakers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're like, how did you? Hit, what? Yeah. First off, how was the, this? Is amazing. How did you do this? And also, mm-hmm. you didn't really even do anything. Everyone yeah, else did yeah, it for yeah. you. It's great. <laughs> I think it's cheating. I'm trying to see where the frag logo is. I'm sure it's somewhere. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't think it's in there. I looked. If anyone in the Discord can find the clot logo in the black Air Force uh fragment once. We'll give you Air a Force link. Once, whatever. We'll give you a link to the Trey Did Hill. The fragment logo in the clot Air Force. Well, okay, yeah. We'll give you a free link to the Trey Hill uh, episode. No, we if won't. you can find Stop it. Stop that. No, you won't. No. No. All right, yeah, fine, we will. Yeah. But you got to fucking tell us in the Discord. Yeah, you have to tell us in the Discord. You have to at Lawrence and he has to respond. <laughs> <laughs> you, ain't never, you ain't never getting that shit. Good luck, man. But yeah, we got... Uh, yeah, you just so reached level one. I just reached level one in the Discord. But it, I feel like we... Yeah, it's a big resurgence, man. You got that. A lot of people are getting excited for the Travis Scott Air Force One's coming out on uh, s- uh, this Saturday. Wait, I don't know. Resur- like, when do you think this resurgence started? I feel like they've never really fallen. I mean, in terms of... People like really. I mean, wanting Air Force Ones. Yeah, when's when's the last time somebody really? I mean, I guess the the MCAs is the last time anybody was like really. Yeah, they, coveting. But that's what I'm saying. Within the last year, I mean, you've had you've had off white Air yeah. Force Ones. You've, Travis, you've had Trav doing Air Force Ones. Two of them. You, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You had the sale. You had the white. Then you have this one. You had even even uh, Cactus Plant doing their Air Force One. Mm-hmm. Uh, people, you know, are enjoying those. And what they get last year. What do you mean? Air Force Ones. What did they get? Like? The first Travis was last first year. First Travis well, was last year. And okay. then also the the off-white Air Force Ones that right, started right, right. in 2017. I mean, it feels like there's been some type of hype and resurgence around exactly. Air Force One. Okay. I don't think they really... I mean, I get what you're saying. I guess... I don't know. I feel like everyone's always wanted an Air Force. Yeah. Everybody... Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not something you could ever... That's like... Yeah, it's like... Not, but as far as like... I don't know. I haven't I haven't heard about uh, Air Force One being like there was a gap when I, I wasn't hearing about Air Force Ones being coveted. There I you guess go. so. Yeah, there you go. I mean, you have people going crazy for. I mean, once again, I know you know Off White. It, it's really hype behind those. Like you have the moments and stuff, but yeah, Air Force Ones are are um, definitely coming back. I feel like. I mean, I will see this Saturday with people coming trying to get the Travis or yeah. You know, I definitely feel like people are. That wouldn't normally be in the Air Force Ones, or do you guys think it's funny that there's a hype black Air Force One now? A hype black Air Force One? Yeah, because every we, we've actually on this podcast shitted on black Air Force Ones mm-hmm. repeatedly. Yes. Now there's a hype one. Of what's course, the, there's what's a hype, hype one? one. The clot fragment. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a, there's been other black Air Force Ones that's had hype, bro. But I mean, not not that not that hype. I mean, moments are fucking. Someone sold a pair of moments. Not all black. That's what I'm saying. These these aren't the clots aren't all black. You know that, right? They have a gum bottom. Like, uh, oh, I guess that's true. Yeah, they have a white midsole. I mean, bro. I mean, you got. I mean, MCAs were black. Yeah, but the breakup of the swoosh, I guess, kind of threw me off, and I didn't mm-hmm. count it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No. no yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all black. I mean, all black is a referee shoe. I mean, people still shit on all black Air Force Ones. Yeah. But I mean, you know, black base. If it's hot, I mean, it, well, I guess if it's hot and limited, people are gonna go crazy for yeah, it. Yeah, of course. If it has the hype, the proper hype behind it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Hype. There you hype go. Black Air Force One, guys. Mm-hmm. We only got a couple minutes left anyway. Yeah. So. Um. How long do we mean? actually do? Yeah, probably enough, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's close. About forty minutes. For, no, probably probably about. Yeah, about forty minutes. Well. Final thoughts, Luke. What do you got? 
Um, g- give me, give me Babesters with the, with the raw denim. <laughs> raw denim Babesters. Raw <laughs> denim base Babesters. Oh, I did think it was funny that. Uh, did you see that? Um, they're doing a fishing inspired Kawhi Leonard shoe for New Balance. Nope. They're doing uh, a f- like apparently he's a big fisherman. Mm-hmm. Cool. He likes fishing. Look at him. Mm-hmm. So they're doing a <laughs> fishing inspired. But it's just it's just so funny. We, we uh, what a year and a half ago, a year ago, we were like, "What's up with the fishing shit?" Mm-hmm. And now yeah. even Kawhi's like, "Yo, can I get a fishing shoe?" Of course. Let me just there get a shoe on. that's based off fishing. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Sub podcast NYC at gmail.com. You can email us uh-huh. on the Instagram. You can uh, see there's a phone number. You can text or leave us a voicemail. Uh-huh. Uh, we have a monthly show the last Tuesday of every month. Mm-hmm. Luke Lawrence and I will be at the Village Lantern um, with some cheap fucking Radeburger for you guys to drink. Come out. Yeah. We'll be fucking chilling. Mm-hmm. Having a good time. Having a good motherfucking time. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else do we need to plug? Not that Cheney. LZD325, Trevisus, mm-hmm. subpodcast, NYC.com. Oh, no, subpodcast.com, if you guys want to check up mm-hmm. on all the content we got on there. Uh, go to the Discord yeah, and hang out and talk. It's getting pretty active in there, and we're not just saying that to say it anymore. Like It's actually getting from pretty popping. Lawrence yeah. is yeah. at level one. Yeah. Yeah. So no, know it's popping. What level uh, are you, Chris? I think I'm like a nine or something. Yeah, you're not. I'm seven. Yeah. Got to catch up, man. <clears throat> <laughs> Probably won't. <laughs> no, I'll just wait. I'll catch up. I'll try. You will not. You will not. <laughs> you are 100% you will not. not. You're right. I we pre- have no faith I in appreciate you. the honesty of you saying you weren't. <laughs> you should have stayed with that. <laughs> yeah, I won't. <laughs> um, Thank you for your honesty. Let me see. Let me see. We good? Oh, yeah. Dude, we had a great discussion about who would win in a five-on-five basketball game, Nike or yeah. Adidas rappers. Yeah. Like, who signed Like who signed to Adidas? Who's assigned to, to Nike? Kendrick, Trav, Drake. Uh-huh. Eminem. Eminem. Mm-hmm. Elia, Elia May or some shit? No, she's not a rapper, though. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, if you want to counter. Okay, that's fine. And then Adidas, Kanye. Um, yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, push. Push. Uh, Beyonce. She's still All right, yeah, we yeah, can yeah. use her. Pharrell. Tiana, T- Pharrell. Yeah. Tiana Taylor? No. She's I not with Adidas. So. Okay, who else? Who's the last one? Big Sean's on Puma now. Big Sean. Yeah, Big Sean left for, t- for Puma. Fuck, now I'm blanking on the last one. Anyway, go on the Discord and check out the discussion yeah, we, we have. Said, you we can just scroll up. Yeah. You can scroll up. Um, and right. that's it, guys. Thank you so much for listening. You guys are the fucking shit. And we're fucking out. Peace. Bye. Later.